So the entire fan base of the One Piece series is waiting for that next chapter. It's been a month break we're going on. We have like two weeks left and we'll start the final saga. It's been confirmed that chapter 1054 will start the final saga saga and many people are scared i've seen a lot of people come to me messing me say they're scared one piece is ending they've been following the series for so long and they're sad to see one piece finally ending and don't be scared guys it's not the last arc a lot of people are getting confused right now it's not the last arc it's the final saga this is not the case look at every saga in the one piece story it's very been a, every saga has been very long yo look at the east blue saga look at the alabasta saga like the east blue saga how many arcs were in that saga alabasta started all the way from reverse mountain all the way to alabasta water seven and he's lobby one of the greatest sagas ever look how crazy that saga was or the versus emperor saga we recently got was zo whole island and of course wano now they wano was its arc itself is like a saga with all the acts we're getting but i don't i want i just want to tell you guys don't worry it's the final saga and yeah it's kind of like bittersweet because one piece is ending but let's be honest here we've been trying to see the final stage of one piece for so long so you should be happy you should be excited luffy just beat the strongest creature alive and it's time guys it's time for luffy to officially become the pirate king but before I continue discussing the final saga, make sure you guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're so close to 100k subscribers. Of course, like this video, 1054 likes for chapter 1054, and turn on notifications. I don't want you guys to miss future uploads when it comes to this channel. Now, of course, the main thing that I'm focused on when it comes to Legend Mac, when it comes to the final saga of One Piece is Blackbeard, Marshall T. Teach. We already know he's after something. I'm assuming it has to be an ancient weapon. Let's be honest here. Like, Blackbeard is known for being a go-getter. He literally went to Marine Ford and did that whole plan of becoming a warlord just to steal Whitebeard's Delphi ability. We know he pretty much wanted that yami yami me so for so long. So I'm telling you right now, Blackbeard is going that ancient weapon Pluton, which Nico Robin was discussing with Kozuki Odin's father. And he probably might even try to get a dull fruit there too. Maybe he could try to get his third dull fruit, or he already has three dull fruits. But Blackbeard is the end game. And honestly, I feel like Blackbeard and Luffy since the Jaya arc has been, even since Drum Kingdom has been setting up for so long that it's gonna be better than Luffy versus Kaido. <laughs> it might be crazy to say, but I've been feeling this since I started One Piece. Blackbeard and Luffy is gonna be way better than Luffy versus Kaido because Luffy versus Kaido, in my opinion, is a really great fight and it was really amazing and whatnot. I was super excited for it. But Blackbeard has been more built up than Kaido by a large margin guys i feel like blackbeard is the greatest villain in one piece if he had his own story arc and blackbeard really never had his own story arc where he could be a main villain this is the time guys the final saga now another character that's gonna be a big part of the final saga is Imsama. Imsama is of course sitting on that empty throne so Imsama runs the world government Imsama is pretty much the uh pretty much you ever hear the saying of uh bearing fruits or something or like kind of like getting success from something that voids entry pretty much yo the will of d all that imsama is pretty much the success story of now becoming the king but cannot be seen as the king with those freaky eyes i'm telling you guys right now in that big straw hat and the national treasure and one nine and the trying to silence do flamingo i'm telling you guys right now the fact that the gorosei bow down to imsama and we know how important the gorosei are just shows you how crazy this character is going to be so i think imsama of course the target with luffy nika joy boy there's so many connections here with imsama that's going to get even more more crazier guys so that final saga blackbeard might be the probably the greatest villain but let's be honest here imsamot just recently got introduced and this character probably is one of the biggest plot twists in the one piece story then there's akainu i can't lie to you guys akainu the red dog sagazuki a lot of people see this guy as just a fleet admiral of the marines the guy who killed ace but let's be honest here akainu is very important we don't know his backstory we don't know why he does the things he does we see him strictly going against the gorsei like he went up against the gorsei this, this just shows me that akainu is probably gonna do some crazy stuff in this final saga like blackbeard the guy who i hyped up in the beginning is running away from akainu like this is how hyped this character is oda said he could be get the pirate king in one he can become the one piece in one year he can also has the strongest offensive power when it comes to delphi abilities akainu just has so much hype to his character and I feel like he's, there's beef between Luffy and Akano. He gave Luffy that scar. Like, at the end of the day, yo, Luffy and Akano have to run. Like, they have to get the smoke, yo. Of course, Sabo, too, because Sabo's going, been going through Admirals, yo, for the Tora, Greenbow. I think Akano taking his brother, Sabo, felt that with the Mary no Mi, surpassing Akano would be kind of cool. But I feel like Akano is a very big character because he has beef with two main characters when it comes to Luffy and Sabo. And staying away from the villains, we also have characters that are very, very mysterious. 
mysterious, like Red Hair Shanks, yo. We see Red Hair Shanks says, I want to talk about certain pirates of the Gorsei. You're a Yonko. How can you just randomly go to Mary Joa and talk to the Gorsei? Like, what is going on, yo? Aren't pirates and the world government supposed to be going up against each other? But you can just casually walk into the room and talk to them? Yeah, definitely there's something about Shanks we don't know yet. But I think Shanks, at the end of the day, he is a big part of the Final Saga. I think Shanks might be the early part of the Final Saga because Luffy has to return that straw hat to Shanks when it comes to great pirate. And Luffy has become a great pirate. He has a three billion barrier bounty. It's time that Luffy return that straw hat, in my personal opinion. And it's time for Shanks to finally go up against the man he was supposed to go up against in Marine Four, which is Blackbeard. Then there's Monkey D. Dragon, leader of the Revolutionary Army, the most wanted man in the entire One Piece world. Of course, Monkey D. Dragon is the father of Luffy. That interaction has to be done in this Final Saga, guys. We have to see Luffy and Dragon meet. We have to see Dragon's backstory. This guy Dragon was literally there during Roger's execution. Like uh, he does so many crazy stuff in the East Blue Saga till now. The build up for Dragon is crazy. Shanks and Dragon, like I said, they have big build up and they're mysterious characters. I'm not gonna say they're just outright good characters. I think they're mysterious characters. Robin meeting Dragon. I think Dragon is definitely gonna be a key character in the final saga and pretty much ultimately the final war. But enough of characters. Let's look at places. Elbaf, let's be honest here. Elbaf probably has the Road Ponogov. It's been confirmed that the Road Ponogov is on an island that the Straw Hat Pirates have not been to yet. So Elbaf is looking like that island because we know that the Straw Hat Pirates have not been to Elbaf. So definitely want to say their low-key Prince Loki plot line. Maybe Green Bull has a big part in this arc. So I definitely feel like Elbaf is something with the Giants and Usopp and whatnot. And there's so much to the story. Big Mom's origins from Elbaf. I'm telling you guys right now, I think Elbaf is a really big part of the final saga. I think it's actually going to be the first part of the final saga. I think Elbaf could be kind of like a Zoe arc. We always see the Elbaf as a main arc. It's going to be a main arc. I think it could be like a mixture of a Zoe arc building up to another arc. But honestly, I would love Elbaf to be a big arc in my personal opinion. And then there's Laftel. You can't talk about the final saga in One Piece if you don't mention Laftel. Laftel has the One Piece on it. Laftel holds the truth of the Void Sentry, the Will of D. Everything we want to know when it comes to mysteries in One Piece is on that island, Laftel. Roger named it Laftel because he was laughing after like pretty much seeing Joy Boy and what he did and Joy Boy's treasure. Like I'll tell you guys right now, Laftel in my personal opinion, this arc probably is going to be the greatest arc when it comes to bringing smiles to One Piece fans. You know, we're going to be smiling this entire arc, every chapter, every episode so because honestly we're going to be seeing pretty much the art that's been hyped up for so long the one piece we're going to see the one piece guys episode one when you first watch one piece chapter one when you first read one piece imagine thinking final second now you're going to see the one piece on an island of lafto it has to be a big part island of course, there's also Mary Jawa. This is the island that we've been always going back to. It's on the red line. The Celestial Dragons. We hate those guys. The Gorsei, Imsama. Like, Mary Jawa is definitely... We just saw the Reverie and how crazy that shit got down right there. So, I just want to say, Mary Jawa is definitely also a big arc. Uh, I think Mary Jawa is kind of like, how to say this, the op position to Laugh But I definitely want to say, I think that's also a big player in the final saga. And this might shock you, but I think Rox needs a back versus Roger might also and garp might also be a big part of the final saga because we haven't seen that interaction i think that flashback we all thought it was gonna happen in wano but no we got teasers in wano i think the actual flashback is gonna happen in the final saga and this is gonna be insane because this is gonna be showing roxy zebek the man who's wanted to be king of the world who knew a lot of taboo of the world a lot of mysteries of the world who went up against the celestial dragon and their slaves and roger and garp protected them there's so many questions that need to be answered guys roxy zebek is a final saga a player guys and then of course the final thing i have to talk about when it comes to the final saga it's we're looking for joy boy's treasure guys joy boy is a big part of the final saga luffy literally became joy boy so lizunisha literally pulled up and said you're joy boy and then left like that's all he did yo. i'm telling you guys right now joy boy is a big part of it we all know the shirohoshi poseidon stuff like there's so many players when it comes to joy boy and connections of course the voice sentry too knowing what actually happened in that century that was erased from history that's gonna be key the will of d i'm telling you guys right now the final saga has gonna have so much amazing stuff that you guys are feeling sad about oh one piece is ending one piece is ending no you're gonna get amazing stuff in this final saga of one piece and that's why i'm excited guys but i want to hear your guys thoughts chapter 1054 is the beginning of the final saga i love when you guys comments like i said like and share if you enjoyed like it share only if you enjoy subscribe for one piece content i'm the legend mac and i'm gone